What we want to do today is talk about the questions that you're going to be asked on your sewing test. All these things that we're talking about are important for you to know as you start to sew. Um, after I teach you, you'll take this test. You'll have to go get it from the teacher. You'll take the test and then you can start on all the other assignments and projects. First thing we want to talk about is your unit. Okay, You'll each have a unit where you have um, over here you have your sewing machine and then in your drawer you have all of your supplies. Let's go ahead and look in your drawer and see what you've got. Um, the first question on the test is what two things need to be on the counter at the end of every day? The first one is your sewing manual. Okay, In your sewing manual you'll have directions for every project that we're going to complete. Okay, It has a list of the parts of the machine, how to thread the machine, crazy stitch, the bookmark, the instructions for the hand puppet. You want to make sure you read all these instructions and then you're going to also watch videos on the computers before you ask any questions of the teacher. Okay, If you ask questions before then, she will ask you if you've read the manual or watched the videos. Do, so do those first so you can get it out of the way and you may not have a question at all. So that's going to be left on the counter and also in this box you'll find a pair of shears. Okay, These shears, they're very expensive. They cost $45, so if you do lose them, you will have to pay for them. So that's why we have you leave them on the counter at the end of the day, so the teacher can check to make sure that you've got them. Um, shears are used for cutting fabric only. Okay, that's very important. That also is a test question. Shears are for cutting fabric only. Do not cut paper with the shears. If you do, it's going to make the blade dull and they're not going to cut very well. Okay, if you do have to cut paper, do use your paper scissors, which I'll show you where those are in just a minute. Um, your shears, a couple other safety things we need to talk about is never play around with these. If I ever see you pretend to cut someone or cut their hair, even if you're joking, they will be taken away and you will never ever get to use them again in this class. You'll have to use the paper scissors to cut out your fabric. So please don't play around with these. Um, accidents can happen and people can get hurt. So make sure that you're being responsible with your shears. Other things, never leave them on the counter when you're not using them, especially open. Someone could reach across and grab a, the blade and poke themselves. It's not going to feel very good. So another test question is where should you store the shears when you're not using them? They should go inside the case. Okay, put them in the case and then leave the case on the counter, just like that. So when you're ready to go at the end of class, what two things do you need on the counter? your manual and your shares.